everybody. Another episode of Community Voices. Today we got a very special guest. Can't wait, wait to hear for you guys to hear what he's been up to, the music he's been creating, how he's been impacting his community. We got Dang Breland with us today. D, how you feeling? What's up, bro? Yeah, I go by Breland. Um, you know, good to be here, uh, bringing in the new year. Uh, you're feeling really good. Nice, nice. Glad to hear. So tell the people how about you and how you got to where you are today. Yeah, man. So I'm uh, originally from New Jersey, uh, Burlington, New Jersey, and I uh, grew up in a really musical home. My parents are, are gospel singers and ministers, so I grew up in church uh, singing. And uh, really during high school and college, I started to realize that music wasn't just a hobby for me. It was something that I wanted to pursue uh, professionally. And so I moved out to Atlanta and started writing. Uh, Right around 2018, 2019, some things started to pop off for me as a writer. I started getting uh, some cuts with with different R&B artists like Kehlani and, and Jacquees and Trey Songs. Uh, and then as an artist, I decided to uh, make a pivot and start putting out music that was more in this uh, country lane. And so I put out a record called My Truck that started to pop off on TikTok, ended up going platinum. I signed a deal nice. with Atlantic and decided to move to uh, Nashville, which is where I live now. Uh, so I could really kind of pursue this, this, this what I call cross country, which is kind of the crossover between country, the hip hop, uh, you know, gospel, pop, whatever, yeah. um, just that crossover space so that I could try to be a cultural bridge between, uh, you know, different groups. Nice. And congrats to that. You know, platinum is not easy. So big Definitely day. not. I'm sure everyone can wait for the next platinum hit, you know. For sure. Yeah. So, you know, Community Voice is all about charity and giving back to, uh, to the communities we serve. So talk about the charity you have in mind and your involvement with it. Yeah. So uh, Caring Hearts is an organization that I recently became involved with. Uh, they actually reached out to me about uh, doing their annual gala that's coming up in uh, February. It's a, a masquerade ball. And, and what they do as an organization is so special. They touch uh, you know, they reach out to kids in low income, uh, often immigrant families and, and help provide food as well as educational resources like tutoring, especially for students that are uh, English as second language to uh, just provide a safer space for them to grow up and, and cultivate their creativity and, and make sure that they can they can survive and be fed. So I really love what they're doing as an organization. I'm, I'm glad to be involved and I'm really excited uh, for for finish line to be able to step in and, and help you know with the donation. Absolutely, it was so great of us to hear how passionate you were about them, and you know it's our pleasure as well to help you spread the message of the work they've been doing in the community and to help them with a mon monetary donation as well. So kudos to you. Now, Thank you, man. yeah, of course, of course. So moving forward, so what's it like being like an artist within like the country music industry? compared to like, you know, you know how it is when you're like in the hip hop, rap space, R&B space, but I feel like people don't really get that POV from the country side. Yeah, I mean, country music is is definitely over the past, uh, you know, 20, 30 years been really isolationist in, in, in a way, yeah. uh, kind of one of those genres that doesn't collaborate across other genres as frequently as mm -hmm. all of the genres do with each other. So. Yeah. You know, you'll see a hip hop artist and an R&B artist or hip hop artist and a pop artist getting on a record together. You don't really see a whole lot of that within yeah. the country space, kind of its own lane. And, and even within that, you know, there's not a whole lot or historically has not been a whole lot of diversity in mainstream country music, despite uh, the genre kind of being built on the backs of a lot of black people and uh, people of color and, and women in particular. Uh, and so I think right now there's a really big movement in country music of, of kind of reckoning with itself and, and realizing that diversity is important and diversity of sound helps the genre reach other people. And so I think right now, me and a few other artists that, I, that I'm really inspired by, Jimmy Allen, Mickey Guyton, Kane Brown, uh, Raina Roberts, Brittany Spencer, uh, and others are just out here trying to, trying to get our voices heard and, and share experiences because at the end of the day, country music is really... Uh, really built around being able to tell your story and so everyone's story is valid and everyone deserves to be able to tell it and so I think uh, being able to be in this space right now at this juncture in history is, is really important. Absolutely 
And it goes to show, like, you know, with time comes growth as well. So now you start seeing, like, you know, different artists and, you know, songs getting meshed and meshed more and what you call cross country, which is a nice segue because I want you to tell me, uh, because I feel like you coined the term cross country. So what does that mean to you? And describe your style of music. Yeah, so, you know, I I did coin that term. Uh, You know, initially it was just kind of uh, just a catchy little phrase that I started started using because I'm like you know it's a crossover between all the different genres but even more than that it's like it 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 can take you across the country and into different countries I think cross country has the opportunity to to include people that aren't just from the south you know I'm from New Jersey I think cross country can involve people that are from California and people that are from Canada even and, and people that are from overseas uh, and and just kind of bring different voices into the picture. Um, I'm definitely excited about this project that I'm dropping in 2022, which will be called Cross Country, uh, and I, I off the Cross Country tour. So I'm really kind of bringing it as a larger thing. It's a subgenre in and of itself. So there's a lot of music that maybe hasn't been historically considered country music that I would argue fits within Cross Country, like a uh, uh, Desperados by Rihanna or uh, you know, a daddy lessons or even an irreplaceable by Beyonce mm-hmm. or, you know, there's just certain records that that we know that's that's telling stories. A lot of hip hop songs have done it as well that yeah. I think at their core have a cross country element to it. They just haven't been accepted in that space. But if you're telling a story, uh, you know, I would argue it falls into that. So I'm just trying to trying to get that message out yeah. there and give people more opportunity to be heard by different audiences. Absolutely. And I love the literal sense of the to the term too, cross country, because literally what you're going to be doing anyway in 2022. So lastly for us, tell us about, you know, your plans for 2022. I know it's coming in, what, three days? So what you guys talk about? Yeah, man, a lot of really cool performances. Uh, you know, my debut album, as I, as I just mentioned, um, just being able to get more music out, man. I only was able to put out two songs this year myself uh, and a couple features, which, which was great. And I got to tour a little bit this year. I'm hoping that that things with COVID settle down a little bit yeah. so I can road all year long and, and be able to actually touch the people that have been connecting to the music and, and get more music out there to continue to, to build that fan base and build that movement. Absolutely. Cool, but that's about it from us. You know, Dan, you've been a pleasure to have. Can't wait for everyone to see this interview. And more importantly, thank you for your time as well and spreading the message about, you know, giving back and altruism and things of that nature. For sure, man, appreciate you. Yeah, cool. Thank you.